Hi, and welcome to a special episode of Card Shop at Argenta. I'm Julie with the Argenta Branch Library. We're part of the Lamb Library System in North Little Rock, Arkansas. And I have Kirsten in the same screen with me this time. Hi. And we want to thank you for joining us for Card Shop at Argenta for the whole 2021 year. We're missing Sari in this picture because Sari has done some of our card shops this year. And next year in 2022, we all three of us have some great projects. Um, but we wanted to end the year with giving you a special little video with a special little project to prepare you for your 2022 year. We are going to get you all set up with a journal. You can make it a journal form, you can make it a diary form, you can make it a to-do list for every single month. And let me show you some of the things that are gonna come in your kit. You'll always get a glue stick with a kit because we never have enough glue. You're gonna get another roll of the double-sided tape. You'll use that a lot in making this journal and every kit is going to have a variety of papers. Some might get blue, some might get red, some might get pink, some might get yellow. So just be prepared to be creative with your kit. You'll get a variety of some colored pins. Those are always good for when you're making a list and to do things. Um, you'll get some ribbon. Um, every kit has a different color ribbon. Um, and this is how I um, started with my journal, is I first I took my, just a basic black composition notebook, I made a template of the outside, and then with your colored paper, your pattern paper, or whatever paper that um, you're gonna get in your kit, then I cut out, take the template and cut it out, and that is how I made my cover. I also covered the back, and I also colored the inside. And then, I'm gonna make mine more of a things to do um, type journal for the whole year, so I divided my notebook into pages. So as I have January, and then I have February, that I will start. And for the ribbon, because you might need to tie it up and keep it tied, um, I just glued my ribbon on to the composition notebook before I covered it with the cover. So this doesn't have to be a pretty glue because nobody's going to see it. Um, but you just want to put your ribbon. Um, you can even do it the other way. So if you wanted to tie at the top, you can do that. You're also going to get a couple different sheets of different stickers. These are like to-do stickers or they might have numbers on them um, if you're doing uh, birth dates or um, just special reminders if you need to, uh, you know, if you have a dentist appointment um, and you want to put that on your calendar, you've got a little sticker. The stickers that I used for my months is you can at the local craft store, at the dollar store, um, you can usually find a sheet of stickers that already have it on there. The January one I actually wrote with a black Sharpie um, and then I have some stickers to intermix within my journal. And so I hope that you will enjoy making this little pocket um, that I put on the inside of mine is actually just the end. I cut um, just the end of a little uh, lunch bag and then I use some washi tape and I put the January and then these little strips um, I just got off of a little notepad and this will be my weekly uh, to-do list and I can fill that out and then I can come into January. These are all my January birthdays to remember and then I'll start putting my to-do list and my shopping list. And Kirsten has a really great uh, journal as well and so let's see what Kristen uh, how she made her journal well Julie yours is just absolutely lovely I just absolutely love it well mine is a little bit different I use pattern paper and I just outlined my notebook just like Julie did and when you open mine I ended up uh, doing the same thing use pattern paper just glued the inside and I made a little pocket and as you see my little pocket right here has a little bookmark in it so just in case you need to go ahead and find your way through through that journal you can go ahead and use your bookmark and when you do a pocket make sure that you just use glue for the sides for the bottom and for the other side and make sure you leave this part open so you can stick something actually in it so that's the front pocket I also made a back pocket same thing and I just put some paper clips right here so you can maybe I don't know hang a picture on here or maybe even go Go ahead and receipt or any kind of other trinkets you would like to go ahead and hang on your paper clip and again another little pocket right here. I also ended up taking 
taking a few of the pages and gluing them together. I have about three pages I glue together and I used a glue stick for that. Um, put them together and I used washi tape to kind of cover up the edges. And again, I did the same thing than Julie. I went ahead and, and put my months right there. So you see January is right here and then I left a few little blank spaces right there and I went on to February and you know you get the idea um, so with each one I have done uh, used different types of washi tape to just simply cover up the edges. One thing I would like to mention for these journals is uh, when you put your cover on it and also when you glue your pages together, best to use is your glue stick or double-sided tape. Liquid glue would just not, it's just not a good idea because it just bubbles the paper. And another tip I would like to go ahead and mention is the spine of the book. Pay attention to that. Once you come to the spine of the book and you are deciding to glue all your pages together, make sure that you do not glue that particular piece of paper together. You need to keep this separate and you need to watch your spine. Um, other than that, I think our little journals turned out really cute and you can just do a whole lot of other things with these. Yeah whether you use it as a diary or a bullet journal or keeping track of anything you like to do. Another little thing I was going to share with you really quick is you also have in your kit one of those little mini journals and all I did was just take patterned paper, decorated it a little bit and that could be just anything, a little address book, a little notebook you throw in your purse, anything you can That's think right. of. That's right. Sometimes you don't want to, to carry the big journal with you and maybe you're going on a trip and you just need a little, a little journal to take with you and um, right. you'll be good to go. Um, Kristen also used some of the sparkle markers that um, you've gotten in yep. past kits. Um, so, and you've got colored pencils, you've got scissors, you've got everything um, from this past year that should get you well underway to make a journal and to document your 2022. So we thank you again for joining us for another year of Card Shop at Argenta and we look forward to seeing you in January with our new 2022 projects. Thanks for joining us.